Hello friends, today we are going to talk about one important factor in S4 HANA that is there is a bunch of uh, transaction code that didn't make it to the S4 HANA environment just for the sake of uh, simplification. So first thing we have to go is like in SAP everything is a table. So in, in SAP there is a table that stores all the all the um, the transaction code that has been uh, decommissioned or didn't make it or rest in peace or whatever you, you want to say. Okay. So here you can see, so this is the table name, okay, PRGN underscore C-O-R-R-2, okay. Uh, here you just press enter and here you will put 75 star and there's a bunch of transaction that code that didn't make it. So there is 338 of this. Now, which are these transaction codes uh, that didn't make it? The SAP didn't provide, a, you know, the, the text and all those things didn't provide. So let's find whether we can we can create a simple query uh, that uh, about query that will help you to find uh, what are the changes that you can do. Okay, so let's me go here. We go to SQVI. Okay, and we are going to use. We'll create it obsolete decode okay and i was working on this okay uh, it's being edited by user so i think i was playing with it okay here is it so let me go and we'll start from scratch everything nope and we are going to go and we'll create new get uh, obsolete uh, transaction code in in for and here what we'll do we'll do a table join we'll click create first thing we'll add a bunch of tables so what we are going to do we are going to do this and now we are going to add another the TSTCT table that we can use okay now another thing is I cannot add the same table over and over again so what we can do is we can manipulate the data a little okay and we can go here c11 and we'll try to find uh, whether there is any table i can use tstct and let's see tstct and we'll just go and click views i hope there will be some views oh we have a bunch of views here so let me TSTCV what it does this view. I just want to make sure. Yeah, that's good. TSTCV. Let's try to. So what I'm trying to do is I cannot add the same table over and over again. So I'll get the short description of one, uh, but I will not get the short description of this one. So I'm trying to fool the system, and I'll put this one TSTCV now. Now let's since i have fooled the system i'll fool the system in a proper way so what i'll do i'll put decode here this one will match this and yeah the language i really don't care it's the language will be there fine so now we have fooled the system okay so now we'll put sap release we'll put transaction code We'll put transaction code, we'll put language key, transaction text, and uh, I don't know whether it this gives. I didn't see here you have transaction text also. And, and what I'll do is the language key, yeah, I'll bring it. So now here I'll put transaction code, I'll put this, and this is the new one the language key and this is my selection screen okay now I'll save it and I'll execute once I execute okay so here I'll do seven five star and I'll execute oh I didn't get nothing that's bad mm -hmm. so the joint didn't really work properly okay let me take this out probably join is messed up so what I have to do is let me go I'll take this out 
I'll take the selection screen out here. Language equally. No, I don't need to. So what I'll go probably the last join statement was not written properly. So I have the decode. I did the decode. The language e. Uh huh. Let me see. Delete link. And TSTCV. No, this one is already there. So I'll take this out. Sorry, sorry. So now I made a mistake. I need to leave this link out. And I'll do this with this. And now I'll save it and we'll see how it works. And I'll execute. And 75 star. So you see. So now the language I want is EN want all the languages so here you can see all these uh, the new ones so transaction text I'll probably want it so I can figure it out so what I'm going to do is in the list field I'll bring transaction text so and I move this up okay. yeah, I'll move it up I'll move it up yes and this one I'll move it here and this one I'll just move it up and uh, I'll save it I'll execute it and here I'll just populate 75 star and I go execute and here you can see this is the new old transaction code okay and this is the new transaction code so you can see so this is pretty handy so we'll just see we'll just give mp01 this is one uh, casualty i know for sure so you see post goods receipt and this is this is very handy so what we learned is the t code uh, uh which the table as well as we created the, the joint for this okay so now if you want and here if, if you want i'll just put the join here condition and here you can see this is the join condition okay so you can see the join conditions here uh so different so i'll just make it bigger so you all can see it so this is the join condition that you have to do and then you'll get everything out okay so so now i'll save it and that's it now if i want to give it as a program you just create additional function generate program program is generated now i go additional function display report name this is the report name okay you copy this control c and now i'll just go slash n s e 38 okay so you don't need to even write a program so you just execute and that's it voila we have it so that's it for uh, this uh, tutorial so we learned how what are the different uh, how to find which are the transaction code that didn't make it to S4 HANA. Uh, I will create a new tutorial, separate tutorial for some specific important transaction that didn't make it to S4 HANA. So, yeah. uh, but we, we saw there is like 338 of this. Probably I'll create 10 more videos related with the important transaction codes that didn't make it to S4 HANA. Stay tuned to my channel and happy SP learning.